Okay, so before we start now, I wanted to, uh, like I went through all of your portfolios, okay? And I realized uh, some of the common mistakes. Now, one challenging thing over here is that uh, there are people from various backgrounds. <laughs> like, for example, uh, Vijay and Dhiren, you both are from design school already. Vijay is from second yeah. year. Dhiren, I think you are also from second year, right? Final. No, sir, I am in final year. Both final year. BDS. BDS final year. And then uh, Samarjit is uh, from engineering background. He has just finished his engineering and he'll be up applying for... Uh, seed and all so the feedback will vary for it so let's first uh, go to the basics okay we'll just discuss what portfolio is all about and how you should approach so portfolio whatever is your background whatever is your state of you know education and all be undergrad postgrad or engineer who is up appearing for uh, you know the final exam you see and all uh, the portfolio is like a best representation of your work so it should describe your potential as a designer it should uh, basically uh, is kind of a medium through which you are going to convince your employer that you are like the best, uh, you know, candidate for this position, be it your design student position or as a designer or as a, a you know, freelancer when you're approaching a client. So that, that is your task. So portfolio is like a medium through which you are going to convince them. So portfolio should, you know, uh, provide them the trailer of what you are made of. So, जैसे हम लोग किसी मूवी का ट्रेलर देखते हैं ना तो उसमें कैसे है कि इट इट इज जस्ट इनफ टू मेक दिस पर्सन एक्साइटेड सो दैट यू नो ही विल बी विलिंग टू स्पेंड मनी टू गो टू द थिएटर एंड यू नो एंजॉय दैट मूवी सो दैट काइंड ऑफ अ ट्रिगर यू हैव टू जनरेट थ्रू योर पोर्टफोलियो सो दैट इज द मेन इंटेंट ओके नाउ पोर्टफोलियो में कॉमन मिस्टेक्स ये होती है कि वेन वी अप्रोच पोर्टफोलियो वी हैव सो मच वर्क दो सीनारियो हो सकते हैं एक तो वी हैव लॉड ऑफ वर्क and then there is another scenario that we have very little amount of work so little amount of work hoga to bahut challenging hai so ideally there should be like four to five solid projects okay in your portfolio there should be enough variety of the projects it should not happen that the same projects are repeating this applies to all of you okay even if samarjit is like from his uh, engineering background so uh, that applies to him also that it should not happen that same uh, mechanical projects he is repeating again and again uh and same applies to rest of you like who are like already designer design students right so uh select like four five of your best project which can show the variety of work you can do which can show uh you know the potential of you for example uh there are there are few people who have like very unique hobbies let's say people who are into you know hard modeling or uh, i used to do a lot of sculpting in my you know uh, graduation days and all that so that also is one of the skills which you can highlight through some of the elements for example if you are a designer already you can show your clay models and you can show that you have a lot of inclination towards clay modeling you enjoy let's say 3d modeling nowadays everybody knows blender right i am seeing uh, in your portfolios also i am seeing blender models so that can be one of the skills and actually these skills uh, give you that you know extra edge when an employee come employer comes to you for selecting a candidate for their company so they are always looking for ki ye additional kya provide kar sakta hai kyunki photoshop or sketching to sabhi log karte on top of it what are you bringing to the table so that is gonna define your you know chances of getting selected into the company okay so uh, good that sanin you have switched on your camera because i am able to see you face now okay so uh, i'll take you back quickly to you know my instagram post i think you would have seen this already but i'll just repeat this once again so that you know we all are on the same page uh, before starting this uh, you know a portfolio should have some basic things as i said it's a trailer for you as a designer so it should have uh, some kind of an introduction that um, every every portfolio should have an introduction about yourself that what are you made up of and uh, you know when you are creating that introduction page what happens usually you will just uh, create Uh, a page where your photo will be there and then you'll just list down all the experiences you have but uh, be mindful of small small things like even if you are using uh, a picture of you uh, think about it ki which picture is going to tell the most about yourself it should not be like a model picture sitting uh, at a random place let's say for example if i am a motorcycle designer so you know for me uh, i will include a picture of me riding a motorcycle or uh, you know the most i enjoy about motorcycle let's say i enjoy hanging out in the garage 
or repairing my motorcycle or something like that you know that picture is gonna say a lot more compared to you know just your portrait picture i hope i am making sense over here right so uh, try to select that picture of you which is gonna talk about your personality okay so that is one important thing second thing is because you are easing them into your uh, zone of work collection of work so there has to be a breather uh, content page which will just you know give a glimpse of uh, what is going to come ahead in your portfolio you must have seen right content page i think designers jo log hai yahan pe design students aapko pata hai ki content page kya hota hai kya kya hota hai right so summer uh, uh, when you go to uh, behans and all do you know behans by the way summer yeah 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 i do have an account on behans okay, i haven't awesome. uploaded anything yet sure but uh, yeah when you go to behans you just try to you know compare yourself with all the other popular portfolios over there so you will see they have like good content page every day we receive so many portfolios and uh, every day it's like uh, the manager is busy your design head is busy everybody is so occupied with your then their own work they have like very limited span of uh, attention and time for checking your portfolio so they literally have like uh, you know one minute at the max to go through your portfolio so uh, what happens many times that uh, just initial two three pages now they are not so exciting enough ki uske baad mein manager will drop you know going through the entire portfolio so in that moment that content page helps a lot so for example if a content page is there and let's say your first project is not so exciting but on content page let's say your last project is quite exciting from the employer's point of view so you know he will make sure that he'll go till that last project whatever happens he might just skip uh, in between slides but he won't skip like after seeing like two three slides so that content page you know helps a lot in that area okay so whatever happens your introduction page and uh, content page has to be there and then you can go like uh, there is full freedom like however you want to promote yourself as a designer or your introduction page can be you know uh, very creative very sketchy doodleish that that's mm-hmm. up to you whatever uh, is suits for you whatever is your style that is all okay but introduction page and content page has to be there uh once you have done that uh then how to organize your portfolio slides is very crucial so aspect ratio is quite important uh especially because you know now we have so many platforms right uh, we have behance uh we have pdf format which you will use uh, to send through emails and all that so behance pe a certain uh, layout will work but that same layout might not work when you are sending through pdf right for example uh for example when i am when you are seeing the screen right that screen mm-hmm. so let's say if you are sending me a pdf uh, at one point of time i can only see one slide over here uh, whereas behans mein kya hoga ki behans mein you can scroll down so it can have like portrait visual also which will take the complete screen and then you can you know scroll down so oh. so behans ke liye requirements alag hai uh, agar email bhejna hai agar pdf format mein bhejna hai to uske requirement alag se alag hai theek hai now aspect ratio when you do it in a portrait format portrait formats are good when you are creating something like a magazine okay uh, but when you are uh, showing stories through you know your particular slide then landscape uh, works because uh, now everybody looks your portfolio on their phone most of the time kaisa hota hai ki portfolio aa gaya let's say mujhe agar kisi ne portfolio bheja aap mein se kisi ne and then you are like ki i am interested in joining your company and all that so what i'll do is uh, i'll just first go, go through it if i like it i'll just forward it to my manager now my manager wherever he is let's say during the presentation some tea break is going on and all he just quickly remove his mobile he'll go through your portfolio on so unless and until you have like a very uh, strong reason for selecting a portrait layout i would recommend to go for a as uh, like wider aspect ratio which can be you know comfortably seen on your uh, laptop or mobile screens whatever okay uh, now uh, second thing is flow because you know you have very limited number of slides uh, and then you have to tell almost everything about yourself through that slide so agar itna limited time hai limited slides hai to you should be mindful of the space which is going to be there in your slide so waha pe every slide should tell some kind of a story and that story when you put all the visuals in the same visual hierarchy then it becomes very confusing uh, you might have remembered all those engineering presentations jahan pe ek slide aati hai jahan pe you know char panch boxes rahenge images ke and then it gets very confusing ki in panchon mein se kahan pe pehle dekho 
इन पांचों में से टेक्स्ट है तो कहाँ पे टेक्स्ट पढ़ो सो दैट विजुअल हेर की हैज टू बी देर सो हियर वॉट आई एम सेंग बेसिकली इफ यू लुक एट दिस बॉटम स्लाइड तो यहाँ पे देर आर लाइक फाइव स्केचेस राइट नाउ विद सम टेक्स्ट सो वेन यू पुट ऑल द फाइव स्केचेस इन द सेम यू नो साइजेस it becomes very confusing but if you play with the sizes and if you create some kind of a hierarchy of the visuals you can possibly tell a nice story that okay here i had a very doodle kind of a sketch and then i evolved that doodle into several ideas and then finally i had like a final idea which is i am very convinced about i have put lot of efforts in you know detailing each and every part of it so this kind of a flow makes it very easy for your eyes also to you know go through it and understand what is the story you are trying to tell okay so that is the second important thing which you should follow now third important thing is balance to kya hota hai ki whenever you divide something into 50 50 to i don't have any example right now but anyway uh, whenever for example look at this slide only this slide when you divide things into 50 50 it is going to look very static so uh, tumhari aankho ke liye bhi wo thoda sa you know ek pause ho jata hai ki it doesn't move so uh, always try to have some kind of a ratio of uh, images or the information which you are giving for example here i was using golden ratio i hope all of you know golden ratio right so okay good i am happy that summer also already knows about golden ratio <laughs> okay so here uh, i am using golden ratio and using those boxes to you know divide my in- information in this way so my bigger image is here smaller image is here then couple of smaller smaller images are here so you know i have this uh, balance of information in a very dynamic fashion it is not looking static and boring okay uh, fourth thing again uh, every slide should tell a story uh, this is like a very rough and basic kind of a uh, understanding that if you want to tell a story through a slide so these are four things which which it should be there there has to be a clear title what is this about uh, what is the background what is the context and what are your ideas so for example here if i am talking about let's say a car design uh, let's say a car for indian crowded scenario so that would be my title which will say so much about my project what i am trying to do here background will be uh, indian scenario kya kya challenges hai that we have so much you know traffic uh, that uh, traffic sense is not there people don't follow traffic signals uh, then traffic ki wajah se sustainability pollution all these things are getting you know uh, becoming a problem over here so that is the background that is the that are the problems and context would be that how you can address those problems by some context for example uh, there is so much traffic on the street then maybe we can reduce the footprint of a car and then that will establish a content a context that okay this is how we can approach this problem and we can solve it and then here it can be all about your sketches okay this is just one way but a slide should have le- these four things so that it will convey your story very efficiently okay uh, then coming to this very interesting uh, thing for uh, which actually i realized quite late but uh, you know when we arranged lot of our work into the portfolio make sure that it is in this format because you know sometimes uh, as i said earlier that koi bhi aapka portfolio agar kholta hai तो उसको बहुत एक्साइटमेंट होनी चाहिए आपके बारे में क्यूरियोसिटी होनी चाहिए कि ये बंदा कौन है इसका काम तो बहुत सही है इसलिए इट शुड स्टार्ट विथ योर बेस्ट वर्क इन बिटवीन लिटिल बिट एवरेज वर्क कैन बी देयर एंड इट शुड एंड ऑन अ वेरी हाई नोट इट शुड स्टार्ट ऑन अ हाई नोट एंड ऑन अ हाई नोट सो यू नो जब वो खत्म करेगा लास्ट प्रोजेक्ट के बाद में हिज इमीडिएट रिएक्शन शुड बी दैट लेट्स आई हैव सेंट अ पोर्टफोलियो टू माई बॉस एंड देन वेन हील फिनिश योर पोर्टफोलियो इफ ही इज एक्साइटेड इनफ ही इमीडिएटली रिप्लाई टू मी ओके साकेत द स्टूडेंट दिस डिजाइनर लुक्स वेरी interesting uh, he might uh, contribute to our company very well very efficiently so ask him to uh, you know prepare for a interview or call him for the, for the interview something like that that will happen so you know that that's why i try to arrange your work in this fashion uh, then going to the text you are from graduation background but what happens in engineering that we use lot of texts and that's why most of you would have seen that when something involves lot of text it gives a, a feeling of documentary and most of the people will sleep in the documentary right so aapko na wo ek masala create karne ke liye you will have to create a good balance of text and visuals so text has to be lesser and visuals has to be bigger to usme kya hoga ki your visuals will be speaking more for example harry potter अगर एक बहुत बड़ी पॉपुलर बुक सीरीज है 
बट बुक लेट से नाइन्टी परसेंट लोगों ने पढ़ा होगा या एटी परसेंट लोगों ने पढ़ा होगा तो मूवी ऑलमोस्ट नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट लोगों ने देखा है क्योंकि मूवी हैज बिकम लाइक वेरी कन्वीनियंट तो विजुअल चीजें हमेशा अपील करती है सो दैट्स वाई द टेक्स बैलेंस ट्राई टू रिड्यूस इट इंक्रीज योर विजुअल बैलेंस सो इट विल बिकम यू नो वेरी एक्साइटिंग फॉर द व्यूअर ऑल्सो ओके सो विद दीज थिंग्स लेट्स गो टू योर पोर्टफोलियोज वन बाय वन ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ अजवेत इज नॉट देयर लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ दिरेन्स पोर्टफोलियो ओके दिरेन let's first go through his portfolio quickly so all of you can understand what he has made so he is a student from ups school of design final year so many sketches his inclination towards car is quite prominent his graphic sense he is trying to showcase he has some kind of a draftsmanship uh, orientation or inclination which is which is very so that's why everywhere you are trying to put that you know grid and tapes and things like that so i think dhiren is someone who is uh, relying more on his hand skills than digital skills which is kind kind of visible over here and that's what he's trying to show uh, okay he has worked on motorcycle project also two wheeler projects yeah this this was my first two <laughs> okay good good okay so why i'm saying it loud is because you will also able to understand how you know people when you are looking at your portfolio they will think how their thinking process will work so okay you have some understanding of the mechanical also so that is a good thing okay you are quite uh, aware of how packaging can be done he is also explaining lot of scenarios so he understand how a user will behave around this product there is motorcycle then scenario then interior project maybe okay so awesome so uh, so summer actually this is a good opportunity for you that you are getting to see you know uh, designer's portfolio <laughs> so okay so uh, Dheeran, first of all, uh, good work overall. Uh, there are like a uh, couple of things I would like you to improve upon. Uh, yes. Okay. So the first thing is, I think uh, your style of you know putting lot of sketches, uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, but at the same time, make sure that uh, it is not becoming very confusing. For example, here, uh, this page is looking quite interesting for a couple of reasons. Uh, even though there are so many you know small small doodles here and there. there are some you know uh, hierarchy of the visuals for example there is this big visual over here which talks about the boot space uh, here there is another visual which talks about you know uh, how the proportions will work out there is a person who is working on so that's why this slide is becoming more acceptable because it is conveying some information whereas yaha pe na this this is becoming very uh, confusing few of the pages are becoming little overwhelming with lot of visuals तो वहां पे ट्राई टू थिंक अबाउट इट हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट यू नो सम स्टोरी थ्रू दैट स्लाइड फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर ऑल्सो दो थ्री विजुअल्स आर मोर और लेस टेलिंग द सेम थिंग सो ट्राई टू थिंक अबाउट इट कि अगर लेट से यहाँ पे आपने एक बूट स्पेस दिखा दिया दिस स्पेस यू कैन यू नो दिस इज गेटिंग अच्छा दिस इज गेटिंग रिड्यूस्ड बेसिकली ओके ओके सो यू कैन शो यू नो कपल ऑफ थिंग्स विच आर केप्ट हियर जैसे यहाँ पे एक सर्फ बोर्ड डाल दिया है ना तो वैसे यहाँ पे स्पेस डिफाइन करने के लिए यू कैन शो दो थिंग्स दिस इज डेफिनेटली नाइस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दैट्स व्हाई दिस स्लाइड इज लुकिंग वेरी नाइस यहाँ पे थोड़ा कंफ्यूजिंग हो रहा है कि कहाँ पे क्या दिखाना है वो समझ नहीं आ रहा है तो ऐसे स्लाइड्स पे थोड़ा सा काम कर लो एंड वेर एवर दिस इज हैपनिंग नो दैट यू आर यू आर नॉट यूटिलाइजिंग द कम्प्लीट वाइडर एस्पेक्ट रेशो जैसे यहाँ पे आपने सिर्फ ब्लर कर दिए तो इसको थोड़ा सा फोटोशॉप में जाके थोड़ा सा टाइम लेके ना पर फिर से रीअरेंज कर लेना तो यू विल बी एबल टू यूज दिस स्पेस आल्सो ओके ओके सर देन कमिंग टू योर ऑल दीज प्रोजेक्ट्स आर क्वाइट नाइस ओके जस्ट यूटिलाइज दिस दिस स्पेस एंड एवरी पेज ट्राई टू सी व्हाट एन ऑल स्टोरी यू कैन टेल थ्रू दैट विद द हायरार्की ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन ओके देन योर दीस काइंड ऑफ पेजेस आर इंटरेस्टिंग दिस इज आई थिंक स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट राइट 
Yes. So this is definitely a good breather page, which will, you know, give a pause from previous project and then make sure, you know, make aware that something new is going to uh, happen. But here, make sure the uh, title is very clear. For example, this okay. suddenly looks ki ye kuch to abruptly ek slide aage. Yaha pe, okay. uh, try to put some title or something like that. Uh, every yes. every project should start with a very nice uh, kind of introduction. Uh, your captions and your title, no? Title plus caption. It should tell, it should do a lot of spoon feeding. That, okay, this project is about this thing and it is solving this purpose. So, you know, uh, viewer is consciously aware that kya hone wala hai aage. Okay. Yes. All these uh, sketches are quite nice. Your uh, storytelling and then the style of, you know, uh, putting so many sketches on one page, uh, all that is working very nicely. Uh, one suggestion because you are doing motorcycle over here. So, motorcycle yes. may uh, one suggestion that uh, in car design, it's mostly the exterior. So, it's a sculpture which you are building. Yes. Because uh, mechanicals ko aap pura chupa dete ho. Car mein, uh, right? Unless it is an F1 or Baha car. But uh, uh, when it is a you know a proper car, so exterior may you are covering every all the chassis with you know sculpt sculpture. So yaha pe in motorcycle may it is all exposed. So uh, uh, your mechanical elements equally matters here. The detailing of uh, mechanical elements. For example, yaha pe jo apne kiya na ye, this is all interesting. Yes. So, isko, isko continue karo, but I, I would recommend you to go you know, one step deeper into this. For example, okay. here we uh, tail lamp. Hai ke. What is this? Ah, yes, yes. They're like sky tail lamp. Hai na? So, tail lamp is yes. a step or under jake, try to figure out ki uska packaging. Kaise hota hai. Usme LEDs mm -hmm. pe aate hai. You know, usme reflectors. So, to reflectors ah. ki packaging ke liye minimum space required. So, mm -hmm. try to think about all that and then you will uh, realize that your your concept is reaching to a very next level because it's yes. engineeringly engineering wise also it is feasible styling wise also it is beautiful and then nobody can question you with that okay yes. this is definitely a nice project okay uh it's may bus thoda sa uh mechanical it is thoda sa, uh, mechanicals pe thoda sa kaam karlo jaise abhi yaha pe battery uh, daldi abhi motor kaha pe hai wo samaj mein nahi aare to I would recommend one thing. This project mein na, uh, make one sketch using that, you know, draftman kind of a, a template or the, you know, page layout which uh, you have. Just mm -hmm. you will uh, remove all the plastic panels and just create okay. one, you know, chassis drawing. Jaha pe suspension, battery, uh, motor, swing arm and suspension. Everything is clearly visible. And then you will be able to tell about the functionality properly. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think Sanin is a product designer, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Sanin would understand because product design, it involves a lot of, you know, functional base to it. So functional mm -hmm. aspect, jaha pe bhi hota hai, toh, it always helps when you can show, you know, exposed kind of a mechanicals inside. So we can add kar do. otherwise this project is quite nice. Uh, isme, uh, your visuals are also nice. I think you are already doing Blender. Which could thoda thoda, like uh, started it. Uh, nahi, Blender actually is, it is becoming a very important skill nowadays. So Blender, if you use it, so try to go to the next level. Try to mm. uh, visualize your screens, visualize your models with different different scenarios and all that. Okay. Yes. Uh, Tumara Citron's interior wala project uh, is also nice, but here, this is a little bit of a feel that it's like a little bit of a feel. Maybe it's a little bit of a final scenario. It's a little bit of a scenario. It's a little bit so I would recommend one thing, where there are details, where I think you are trying to put that, you know, cocoon-like mesh, which will provide you comfort uh -huh. and all that. So, let's take a little bit more detailing. Pe dhyan do. Okay. So, yes. if you leave line lines, mar ke agar do ge na, to it will give very uh, amateur kind of a vibe to it. Uh -huh. okay. So, just take care of that. Otherwise, I think your skills are there. Your intentions are clear. Uh, your passion is also visible that you enjoy sketching and all. एक चीज यहाँ पे clear नहीं हो रही है कि your inclination is not clear कि तुमको करना क्या है तो I would recommend कि अभी इसके addition में अगर एक कोई project डालते हो तो which will probably define more about your passion तो it will be better for you to convince anyone let's say अगर तुमको two wheeler में interest है तो एक और two wheeler का project डाल दो then it will become like two solid two wheeler projects and then miscellaneous projects तो ऐसा हो जाएगा Okay. Otherwise, yes. good work. Uh, I quite liked it. Tumhare uh, pure portfolio mein ye jo final sketch hai na, it is suddenly bringing things little down. 
तो आई थिंक यहाँ पे और थोड़ा हाँ. सा सॉलिड स्केच लेके आओ या तो मतलब तुम्हारा पोर्टफोलियो काफी अच्छा जा रहा है हुँ. और एंड में थोड़ा सा प्रपोर्शन एंड ऑल थोड़ा सा यहाँ पे वियर्ड लग रहा है इसका yes. जैसे यहाँ पे ये वाला जो एरिया है क्लियर नहीं है द लेंथ इज लुकिंग वेरी शॉर्ट थोड़ा सा वो प्रपोर्शन में थोड़ा सा गड़बड़ लग रहा है यहाँ पे ओके सो समर इज बेसिकली मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर फ्रॉम पुणे एंड ही विल बी अप्लाइंग फॉर डिजाइन कॉलेजेस नाउ यस ओके सो एक्चुअली ओके फॉर एवरी वन रेफरेंस आई जस्ट क्विकली गो थ्रू इट okay so uh, so summer first of all uh, i want to congratulate you because just being a designer also you have managed to put uh, all your work in a very good creative fashion so that is good there are now uh, some of the graphic designer uh, level mistakes which i will point it out but i think uh, you have good uh, solid you know work which you can promote yourself that you can become a potential designer so that is a good thing uh then coming to like one by one will come to your things that uh, first of all your fonts are getting very small so even when i am seeing this on big 16 inch screen now uh i i am not able to read many of the text over here like i'll have to literally go near my screen to see so uh, increase the font space and i think because you come from this engineering background uh your text to visual ratio is little uh, on the engineering side only what we were yeah. speaking right now before so uh, that's why here i think uh, you can rethink about your visual balance uh, give more emphasis is uh, to visuals uh, also uh, and then coming to your work uh, definitely these go karts are quite nice and the way you are explaining the story all that is quite nice and in your studio test also they will give you a chance to you know explain the things in detail so all that is good okay. uh just try to think how you can make it you know visually more appealing and reducing appealing. reducing the amount of text you are using here no so that uh, basic uh, attempt you should try uh and then whatever the sketches you are showing here these are quite nice uh -huh. as in at uh, at your level uh when you are ideating and you know you are trying to ideate something on paper and then putting it in function this is also for designers that uh, you know this is one side of the design that uh, it's very mechanical and technical uh, but at the same time this is also required in your design portfolio right so if you can you know create some kind of mechanical sketches like this with more maturity and more finesse uh, that will be appreciated appreciated a lot okay so try to take that as a learning from that uh, and whatever he is doing with the ergonomics and sitting uh, on a testing mule and things like that these are quite nice uh, to convey the person that he understands how the sketch is going to work in actual reality so that is a quite a good validation okay so summer you are doing a good job there uh, okay. the only thing is now it has become too technical so you will have to balance it with you know lot of creative work so graphically okay. as i said uh, this kind of balance is quite nice okay like 70% visuals and 30% text uh, acha your both of the projects are more or less same so when you want to uh, convince you are a uh, jury for taking uh -huh. you as a design student you will have to show little bit creative inclination also for example okay. you know you can add one or two projects where you know you are uh, uh, doing some aesthetic work also so there is aesthetic works and these are both these are like uh, go kart or four wheeler kind of a projects right so you can right, yeah. add one or two projects which are not related to cars so it will show your you know uh, other side of what summary is made of you know so that part you can include add couple of more projects okay. also whatever your hobbies and things like that uh, if you can give them an indication okay uh, i can do this also i like my technical uh, background is strong that fact you have established right now uh, you want to convince them that okay my creative side is also equally strong also strong so that part you try to balance with it okay uh okay. and try to put uh, if you do if you like sketching or if you like sculpting or if you like you know uh, any kind of creative work so try to put that in your portfolio so it will balance it okay and especially you are going for bds right 
So no, uh, you are yeah. going for masters, right? Masters, yeah. Yeah. So masters and automobile. So on and off, you will be required to uh, understand the aesthetics of a car uh, and okay. things like that. So try to see. And uh, I think other than that, I think you are good to go. Uh, just add couple of more projects. Uh, yeah, that's all. Do you have any other question? Um. Yeah. I mean. i was interested in doing automobile engineering i mean uh, automobile design but right now i'm like looking at more pathways so like i can get into product or like if this portfolio will help me get into product design or if this portfolio will help me get into like cmf or some place like that so okay. i was just hoping i could get some information from you okay so there are see right now uh, you have all the options open you can go into product design also you can go into transportation design also you can become a graphic designer also if you're like cmf is like something very exciting for you so uh, mm-hmm. cmf ke liye usually transportation se bhi log lete hai aajkal but at the same time textile lifestyle accessory design and uh, sometimes in very rare cases graphic designers so ye teeno okay. ke bhi aajkal log aa rahe because you know ux is becoming an important part uh, again this is for all of you okay uh, because uh, motorcycles ho cars ho ya product designer ho now everything is revolving around user experience so all the projects wherever if you can focus more on the experience part of the product that is going to give lot of depth and value to your projects so don't miss out on that okay so uh, yeah so summer coming to coming back to you so yeah all those options are there i think uh, with your background i think you really enjoy working on cars and uh, mechanical yeah. area is very strong for you i would recommend you to try uh, strongly for product design and transportation design i think you have a really good scope over there okay uh and uh, cmf and things like that you can always explore while doing transportation design so there okay. are many transportation designers now who are uh, you know trying and creating their niche as a cmf designer yeah. that is already happening okay yep cool so yeah, yeah work on that uh, and i would recommend you to give not just give seed uh, try to give as many exams as possible i always okay. recommend like taking a break is not good com- like <laughs> it's always better to settle for a decent college than taking a complete year break okay exactly yeah so so give all the exams because i think you are not giving nid I, or are you no no i did not register for nid so basically i mean i don't have lot of information about how what goes on because like Understood. my schedule is also like my my exams and all were there for this like nid exam so i checked my dates So I was like, was uh, if my exam is gonna come on this day. Yeah, it's not possible. Also, like okay. this is engineering final year right now. So, <laughs> I mean, the pressure of uh, projects and pressure of like exams are like just too much sure, sure. for me to handle right now. Okay. So I was like, let's see if I can give seed or something. I understand. I think uh, whatever the situation is, give uh, all the possible exams, and uh, like rather than taking a break, I would always recommend you to you know go and join go and college. Explore. yeah exactly okay you yep. anyway have my number so if you have further question you can always message me okay of course of course of course yeah yep so let's go to the next one i think we have sanin over here sanin are you there yeah i think you are there yeah yeah sanin uh, first of all nice uh, portfolio okay you have a very strong theme to your portfolio it's visible that you have uh, taken some good amount of efforts on your portfolio i'll just go through your portfolio for everyone's reference over here Okay. Okay. Fine. Versatile cloth dryer is is one project where he's trying a product which can you know hang all the clothes and it can dry it very efficiently. It has a motor controller kind of a thing which can be possibly used for a fan also. Is that so? Yeah. Yeah. right and then you have made a prototype working prototype as well then the second one is backyard so i think it's a, a more uh, what do you say convenient option for a surfing board or a kayak if i'm not wrong so uh, always uh, even now industry people you know uh, prefer going through a pdf than going on behance and checking your link so uh, so always try to create a pdf of it so that you know in such kind of scenario when internet is not working and all that uh, so wo pdf becomes more convenient for them okay this is just a suggestion because stuff. yeah uh, i had one question because in our portfolio we are adding some animations so it's it will be difficult PDF? to share those kind of animations uh, vijay 
Ah, Vijay, yeah, Vijay, yeah, tell me. Yeah, it will be difficult for us to show our more skills into uh, when we are sending PDF because even I send you my PDF. In those PDF, I didn't add my uh, animation videos. Animation videos and all. So uh, yeah. that's a valid question. I understand because a lot of you are doing Blender models, and uh, yeah. there will be videos and stuff like that. So, but uh, there are there are few places which entertain you know online portals. but there are few places which are still very orthodox you know so they will uh, rely on the pdf like for example even now if you go to like european studios and all the only way to apply there is by uploading a 5 mb portfolio just think about it like 5 mb 5 mb mein kuch bhi nahi aata hai matlab you know you will have to break your head literally to reduce that size of a pdf also yeah. so so i think uh, be prepared for both the scenarios okay uh, if Behance is there. It is entertained by the company. Then for sure you upload it there. But if any company is like that, you send a PDF. You have to send it. Then uh, mm -hmm. one of the options could be that you can, you know, uh, that turntable. If there is any video, so that video you can take like exciting photos and you can convey that okay, you had a very nicely done uh, this visualization and 3D model as well. And there you can put a link in PDF. You can put links, right? So if you want to see yeah. this video in detail. then you can click on this link so that can be a getaway so okay. pdf dala hai but pdf maybe you have mentioned the link so if somebody is curious enough so he'll always go to your website and check okay, okay. Yeah? yeah okay so again going back to uh, sanin so sanin's other project is bottle x jar opener so here how elderly people and kids are struggling to open the bottle what can be made so he has made uh, an instrument for that so that is quite nice it's very evident that sanin has made this in canva right uh, no no photoshop oh is it photoshop okay yeah okay i thought this is made in canva because nowadays whatever the portfolios i see with these you know uh, stickers over okay. there no? <laughs> it gives me an idea that fine this is made in canva okay nice this is convertible carrier then there is dental scheduler doctor's view patient's view all that this is beetle bug decor okay and then there are certificates as well and then there are logo designs which you have mentioned photography is also there okay by the way i also saw your recipe finder app so that is also quite nicely done so uh, so overall i think sanin you have done a good job now i have couple of uh, suggestions for you uh okay. first of all uh, you are uh, this kind of theme which you are uh, keeping it here no so isme yeah. kya ho raha hai na because of this theme somewhere uh, it is wasting lot of uh, space on your slide okay so this might be okay when you are putting in a you know on behinds and all where people are just scrolling down uh, when you are making this into a pdf format there it might be a problem that uh, you won't be able to justify for example if you have to send like 5 mb file and uh, you have to like limit yourself on to like 20 slides only there you know small small spaces like this also are going to matter so uh, try to see how you can utilize this space also and because of this graphic uh, at some space some slides uh, this is getting so overwhelming that uh, the work is getting secondary are you understanding so i think yeah. other people other people might ag agree here that uh, because this graphics is so dominating that i am going to your sketches when you know i am stopping there so it's coming at a very later stage so the information is coming little after you spend time over on that slide so here my recommendation to you would be to uh, understand like for example there are few uh, slides where this layout is working quite nicely for example this one no this is quite yeah. nicely describing the user <clears throat> behavior with this uh, bottle opening kind of a fun function so here this thing yeah. is working very nicely it is looking like a storyboard a comic strip and then you are able to justify or establish the context over here so this is very nice but whereas uh, huh. some of the places like this for example or this one here it is not working out that efficiently okay understood so here i think you will have to rethink about it how you can keep this theme a theme as you are you know uh, to make it look very harmonious throughout but at the same time your visual information is not getting disturbed 
okay so that is one suggestion uh, second suggestion is uh, that uh, wherever you are finding lot of empty space no for example here there's lot of empty space yeah. try to see how you can kill that empty space because you know it should not look like a very uh, what do you say badly uh, managed space for the slide so uh, for example this slide uh, this space let's say if you have kept it empty here think about it what can you add over here this is a surfing board can you add some kind of a scenario where you know ocean at the ocean is at the back couple of palm trees are there or something like that i don't know but you can establish a scenario and then this will not look uh, empty and at the same time it is going to provide lot of information to the viewer that okay he is targeting this kind of a scenario this kind of a lifestyle uh, and also uh, i understand that you might have done this in hari but uh, this kind of 3d model no now you have already reached at this point you can just take a little bit more couple of hours spend some time in photoshop and make a nice human figure out of it here you can talk so much about you know his lifestyle kind of clothes he is wearing and you know those clothes uh, can have particular graphics which you can use in your stickers and on your surfing board as a, you know graphic theme and all that then it will become very uh, you know uh, very mindful or very convincing kind of a product that you are not just designed something but you have thought it through understood okay yeah okay. i hope i am making sense guys if you have any kind of objections or uh, you know counter questions you can keep raising it okay okay yeah uh, all these things are working fine i think your functionality aspect is quite nice even though i am not an expert product designer but i am kind of understanding the story you are trying to convey uh, wherever this kind of automobiles are coming i think you can give little more uh, focus on uh, detailing part of it for example the way uh, things you have you know mentioned here they are looking like a thermocol pasted on the panels so see uh, now you have reached a level already now this is all how you can take it to the next level this should be your target okay because the competition has become like very crazy these days everybody is you know coming out with so many crazy portfolios and work तो वहां पे कैसा है कि यू शुड नॉट गिव एनी चांस और स्कोप टू यू नो पिन पॉइंट पॉइंट स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स वेर यू कैन यू नो यू बी जस्ट ऑन दो थिंग्स सो ट्राई टू किल ऑल दो एरिया वेर यू कैन बी यू नो मिस जज फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो आई आई कैन सी दैट यूर ब्लेंडर स्किल्स आर गुड आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू यूज मोर एक्साइटिंग एनवायरमेंट वेर यू कैन डिफाइन द काइंड ऑफ लाइफ स्टाइल और दिनारियोज इवन बेटर uh if you have <clears throat> if you have some you know uh, mannequins you can just place them here uh, and let's say you don't have enough time to sketch them or render them you can always reduce the opacity of those mannequins and just as a representative you can show that okay this is how people are going to sit inside this uh, truck you know for that matter uh, all these things are good yeah for example like this no <laughs> these kind of things it conveys so many uh, more things about your concept so don't uh, hesitate to do something like this just make it look mm -hmm. more realistic that put some shadows and all so it will not look like a 3d model uh then mm -hmm. coming to your apps i think uh, more than this uh, this app is definitely good but more than this one that uh, your recipe book no i think it had lot of uh, <clears throat> solid story to it so i would recommend you to uh, include that as well uh and uh, as a product designer uh, if you are in also inclined to ux ui you can make like two separate portfolios and then you can you know give more emphasis on ux design in one portfolio and in one portfolio one portfolio you can give more emphasis on the product design part okay other than that i think it's all good work uh thoda sa uh, empty space ka area yeah and one more thing uh, i think your fonts can become better okay uh your fonts right now they are looking little on the uh, like definitely you have made this a very playful kind of a theme but these fonts you know for the text and all i think they can become more uh, exciting more modern and ye kaun sa font hai वैसे i think this helvetica helvetica hai kya yeah yeah helvetica hai na so <clears throat> helvetica kafi zyada hum logo ne dekha hua hai so explore few more fonts 
uh, for this also this is very close to that comic sans kind of a vibe so see if you can uh, you know play around and create that you know modern unseen kind of a uh, impression through your fonts okay so that is my suggestion yeah? yeah okay any other question no no thank you so much <laughs> okay cool so we'll go to the next one okay vijay so we have met in mit and now this is the second time right yeah. <laughs> okay let's see yeah i have gone through your portfolio for sure first one is motorcycle project where you are creating a trike kind of a proposal right a trike yeah it's kind of a bike which we can sleep hmm. on the bike this is a video where you're showing some functionality yeah okay so this is like a nomad kind of a vehicle which can be used for long explorations and all that is that so yeah yeah exactly interesting okay so this is a touring trike right yeah, it's a touring bike yeah okay, this is another thing turntable all right okay this interesting stance okay speed form this might be your uh, clay model exercise right yeah it's a clay model exercise. okay awesome so uh vijay uh yes so first thing first i think you have uh, you have your work in line uh the thing is uh, uh i think you have strong inclination towards motorcycles right because yeah. i'm seeing a couple of more like solid projects of motorcycles uh, I think if you are into motorcycles, uh, you will have to give more attention to the mechanical aspects of it. As I was saying it before also, no? this is a mechanical, yeah, yeah. mechanical product first. It is uh, meant to function before the styling can attract people. So, uh, yeah. th so that's why uh, you'll have to give more focus on the, uh, the inner elements, like where the battery is going to be there, where you can place mm -hmm. your motor, how the suspension is going to play. If this is like a pneumatic kind of suspension, is it pneumatic mm. or how the swing arm is going to uh, work properly? For example, right now, the swing arm doesn't look going to the center of the axle. It is looking as if yeah. it is finishing on above the axle line. So yeah. uh, I'm not understanding the pivot uh, point for this. So I think these are uh, very important things, especially because this is a completely functional product. So okay. I recommend you to uh, give more attention to those areas. Uh, okay. Yamaha, Yamaha, Suzuki, Kawasaki, all of them, they have, you know, such kind of trikes, right? Three mm -hmm. wheelers. So you can yeah. refer them. You can see uh, the kind of mechanisms they are using, the kind of, uh, you know, suspension and linkage, you know, axle linkage okay. mechanisms they are using so that, you know, when they are uh, leaning at some areas, it is not mm -hmm. leaving the surface of the road. So okay. they have different linkage mechanisms over there. So yeah, you have LMW to... suspension technology they are Correct. using. Yeah. So so I think you have to get more. Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, sensitive to those areas, and when you put those areas over here in your know, sketches, no, then it will become yeah. more solid proposal. Okay. Uh, okay. I think you are uh, what you are doing here, sketching motorcycles in different different views. That is very good. Keep it up, okay. but at the same time, uh, try to make sure that if you're sketching a motorcycle in this view, uh, what mm. is the purpose of it? Are you trying to explain the volume of it or are you trying to explain the, you know, what kind of features you are trying to highlight through that particular view uh, should okay. be given more importance and then it will become, you know, more engaging sort of a story. Uh, graphically, okay. I think your uh, uh, sketches can be arranged in much better fashion. Like for example, these four sketches, they have more or less same kind of a hierarchy. So this yeah. gets a little confusing. So that flow and hierarchy of visuals, no, I think you can mm -hmm. uh, give more attention to, and then it will become like a very nice story. 
I also okay. uh, thought that uh, your slides can be compressed into like two, two, three, three slides can be compressed into one slide because, okay. uh, uh, for example, this background, hmm. this inspiration, and this story of Yamaha. I think they okay. all can be converted into one or two slides at the max. So one slide you can okay. cut down here. Uh, then the concept, ideation, and then these features drawing. I think these also four slides can be compressed into two slides. So you know uh, this yeah. empty space which is visible here, no? Uh, okay. It will cut down. So abhi kya ho na? Tumhari visuals bhi itne bade nahi hai aur ek slide pe baut zada sketches bhi nahi hai. So it gives me a feeling ki baut zara empty space hai. So thoda sa empty okay. empty space hai. Jaise Dhiren ke uh, portfolio mein kaisa tha ki baut sare sketches the na? तो वहां पे वो एम्प्टी फील नहीं आ रहा था तो यू हैव टू क्रिएट सम काइंड ऑफ अ ग्राफिकल इंटरप्ले ओवर हियर ओके देन दिस एयर मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑल व्हाट एवर यू आर शोइंग दिस इज ऑल गुड आई वुड रेकमेंड वन मोर थिंग इन योर स्केचेस ऑल योर लाइंस नो दे हैव सिमिलर लाइन वेट्स सो उसकी वजह से स्केच ना बहुत ऐसा पॉप अप नहीं हो रहा है लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल line weightages wherever the shadow is coming no so you can make okay. it more darker wherever uh, the top lines are there where a lot of light is going to get attracted wo thoda sa light rakh sakte ho then then there will be lot of drama right okay to wo thoda sa tum kar sakte ho okay uh, sketching mein mm-hmm. wo improvement ho sakti hai tumhare tumhare paas 3d model agar hoga to make sure ki wo 3d model mast usko blow up karke acche acche environments mein dal rahe ho to aur zyada okay. appealing ho jayega right या जैसे यहाँ पे ये सब है ना तो आई थिंक एक इशू मैं ऑब्जर्व कर रहा हूँ कि तुम्हारे सारे स्लाइड्स में ना एम्प्टी स्पेस बहुत ज्यादा रह रही है फॉर एग्जांपल दिस आल्सो ना देर इज लॉट ऑफ एम्प्टी स्पेस यहाँ पे भी अगर मैं देख रहा हूँ तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि ये विजुअल थोड़ा सा और बड़ा हो सकता है सो यू नो दिस काइंड ऑफ एम स्पेस कैन बी यूज प्रॉपरली या तो ये कर सकते हो कि यहाँ पे मस्त ग्राफिक्स डाल सकते हो कुछ तो वो फिर कम्प्लीट लगेगा स्लाइड गॉट इट Okay, got it. Yeah. So then, uh, what about the design and the concept? Is it a uh, looking uh, good or? Uh, so, uh, the the concept is very attractive. That this one, no. Uh, yeah. That it can convert into a sleeping uh, bed or something like that. So you know, this becomes like a, a nomad sort of a cruising vehicle, explorer kind of a vehicle. So that is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, the form, I feel, it is a little. There's a lot of scope for improvement. I feel, uh, for okay. example, uh, there's one thing you have taken Yamaha, right? So Yamaha yeah. has uh, all these bionic-looking panels, but at the same mm. time, uh, there has to be a complete wholesome kind of a feel. So, for example, um, you have added one picture over here. For example, this one, no. So this has yeah. some kind of a character, right? So mm. that character is somehow not. Uh, coming over here so maybe you can give a uh, little bit more uh, attention to all this also uh, yeah. try to give more attention to the outer form for example this one no mm. so this one a like it has interesting details and all but if you see the outer boundary it is like a big rectangle over here okay so so it looks very static when you look at it so mm. this is one rectangle then there are two wheels so overall it is forming one more rectangle so there is no you know aerodynamic has to be that uh, fuselage or kind of a tear drop shape no so vaisa okay. kuch aisa 3d movement nahi ho raha and then here also uh, it is giving that very flat kind of a panel vibe okay so for example this flat panel if you can convert into more aerodynamic kind of a thing for example this part is coming you know uh, the forward most point and then other things are aligning uh, in your aerodynamic flow then it will become okay. more exciting so that is i think where uh, the form is uh, form can be improved a lot so wo sari cheezo okay. pe dhyan rakho mm, and uh, because it's a mechanical element ye jo bhi chote chote details dikha hai na yahan pe hmm need one so this is not conveying uh, a functionality aspect of it so are you yeah. trying to create some kind of a muscle uh, you know muscle those things will be there no what do you call that yeah yeah actually it's a body frame only chassis only i have taken inspiration from katana those uh, handles you can okay. see the diamond kind of shapes i developed the form from that okay. here the body i have 
taken chosen is a monocoque frame so that's why i use the empty space to fill with these so, kind of elements so you can have more uh, uh, alignment of these uh, members no it mm -hmm. right now it is just uh, looking like equally spaced kind of members and they okay. are all of same thickness mm -hmm. so you can play around with different thickness you can play around with the orientation of them you can also mm -hmm. see uh, if you can create that bionic kind of a uh, feeling to it so it will look very uh, modern and yamaha is all known for their bionic surfaces so वैसा कुछ एक फील आ सकता है उसमें तो वो सारी चीजें अभी सोच सकते हो ठीक है दी सिनारियोज एन आवर आर क्वाइट नाइस बिकॉज इट इज शोइंग दैट कॉन्सेप्ट एज आई सेट बिफोर ऑल्सो यूर कॉन्सेप्ट इज वेरी नाइस सो यू जस्ट हैव टू प्ले अराउंड विद द फॉर्म हियर आई थिंक दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज बेटर इन टर्म्स ऑफ द फॉर्म सो हियर यू आर एबल टू अचीव अ वेरी नाइस हॉर्स लुकिंग काइंड ऑफ जेस्टर फॉर यूर व्हीकल विच इज यूर एडवेंचर व्हीकल तो यहाँ पे वो एक अच्छी बात है बट एट द सेम टाइम थोड़ा सा ना यहाँ पे जो रेंडर्स है they are looking hmm. little graphical so isme okay. thoda sa 3d play kam hai so try to add hmm. more 3d play to it also these are plastic panels so isme ek chamfer hoga isme ek edge hogi uh, it won't have hmm. a very sharp kind of corners like this thoda sa usme hamesha yeah. fillet rahega i think sanin would agree to this kyunki wo product designer hai whenever the panels are made there will be uh, like small small chamfers because of the manufacturing constraints so wo uski wajah se acha bhi lagta hai fir मतलब ये ऐसा लग रहा है कि अभी थोड़ा पेपर जैसा लग रहा है एकदम फ्लैट पैनल जैसा तो देयर यू कैन प्ले अराउंड विद स्मॉल स्मॉल डिटेल्स एंड देन इट विल स्टार्ट लुकिंग मोर रियलिस्टिक ओके या गिव मोर अटेंशन टू डिटेल्स आई थिंक योर कॉन्सेप्ट्स आर देयर जस्ट मेक एंड योर विजुअलाइजेशन आर ऑल्सो नाइस जस्ट वो एक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और एक थोड़ा सा फॉर्म सेंसिटिविटी थोड़ा सा इम्प्रूव कर सकते हो this project mm -hmm. is purely conceptual so it shows your representation skills and all this shows your clay modeling skills so that is also okay uh yeah that's all so improve on your graphics improve on okay. your uh, making it very crisp compact kind of a, a slides and mm -hmm. also if you can uh, give more sensitivity towards form i think you are good to go okay cool yeah yeah and then any suggestion if i am applying for a two wheeler company what kind of projects will work like uh, here i have showed uh, two projects in bike these uh, from uh, these projects are good enough but uh, the only thing is ki because the competition is so much you will have to show a mm. lot of maturity that uh, okay. so try to observe some of the existing uh, motorcycles and try to see small small details like that chamfer and things like that so okay uh, try to play more uh, into 3d jaise abhi ye motorcycle hai na this is giving mm. lot of 3d moment but your okay. other sketches they are looking very graphical as if they are like 2d sketches hmm okay okay so yeah. us, us pe kaam karo and i think you are good to go anyway you have a number so you can like mm. share your work whatever your improvements you are doing keep trying sure. for your internships and let's see what happens okay yeah thank you i think we have the final one now which is ajwet So Ajwet, uh, you are from Kerala and you are doing bachelor yes, of design. Okay. Yeah. So you and Sanin know each other, what? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Awesome. So uh, Ajwet, I have uh, gone through your portfolio. You have this uh, book kind of a format, right? Magazine kind of a yeah. format. Yeah. Yeah, magazine. Like I was doing it for uh, yeah, printing purpose. Printing purpose. Okay. So that is one thing. Again, I said uh, before also, no, that. Uh, when you have uh, a book kind of a purpose uh, then it's a different story when you have a behans kind of a portfolio it's a different story when you have a pdf it's a different story so i think you will have to uh, get uh, like you can do small small tweaks for that i think jaise abhi hum log pdf yahan pe dekh rahe to this is looking a little odd matlab jaise abhi kuch logo ko pata nahi hoga uh, ki ye magazine format mein bana hai to ye thoda sa strange lagega when you are printing it then you can keep this format when you are uh, make sending it as a pdf no you can just do like small small tweaks here and there so that it will look like a uniform like complete widespread uh, slide for your portfolio okay so you can do that uh, then uh, i saw your portfolio delhi bahan and all this is quite nice interesting uh, the only thing which i realized that okay i'll just go through the entire portfolio first 
so first thing which uh, struck me uh, you are from which year by the way are you and sanina classmates yeah okay so you are also from final year right yeah okay so first thing which struck me was uh, here i saw that there are so many projects in your portfolio but somehow iske baad mein jab bhi wo projects hai na i felt the content is very less that for example this one so there is mood board and then final product but there is no very concrete story to it so when you showcased uh, this kind of content no so mere expectation automatically bad gaye so i was expecting that i will you know uh, i will see so many in depth kind of projects for individual these these things okay तो वो यहाँ पे जाके ऐसा हुआ कि अरे एक स्लाइड में खत्म हो रहा है प्रोजेक्ट सो आई थिंक व्हाट आई रेकमेंड यू इज टू क्रिएट अ प्रॉपर स्टोरी फॉर ऑल योर प्रोजेक्ट्स लाइक व्हाट इज द बैकग्राउंड व्हाट इज द टाइटल फॉर एग्जांपल द टाइटल इज काइंड ऑफ मिसिंग ओवर हियर दिस वैक्स टॉल यू हैव सेड हियर बट ट्राई टू मैंशन लिटिल बिट मोर अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट दैट मे बी द मोस्ट कम्फर्टेबल काउच और द मोस्ट कम्फर्टेबल फर्नीचर और द एस्थेटिक something like that you know so wo kar sakte ho establish a con- context ki what is the context, concept behind this you know uh, beautiful looking furniture what was your inspiration you can take all that and then describe it for example i think you are taking some inspiration from organic objects yeah. so isko yeah. thoda sa uh, acche se visually represent karo so that you know it becomes like a spoon feeding kind of a thing visually you are conveying the story and then uh, there are ideation little bit uh, ergonomic study if you can add and then final 3d models so then it becomes like a very nice story for example your friend sanin has done in his uh, portfolio no yeah. that there is a concept there is a background there is a user persona he also went into see study the ergonomics of different different things right so wo sari yeah. cheeze jab aap karoge to yahan pe aisa mast ho jayega just give me a moment okay Diren, you yes. from uh, UPS, right? Yes, BDS. Currently, yeah, BDS. Might know Ritvik, I guess. Do you know Ritvik? Ritvik in masters. masters. Yeah. Hi, yes, yes. Yeah, he's yes, my friend. Same. You are from same same area. Actually, we are both from Tamil Nadu. He is also from Tamil Nadu. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm catching up with yeah. happening. <laughs> no no good man actually uh, we are we are a very small community so i would recommend you guys to you know get in touch with each other try to support each other this this always helps okay anyway coming back to ajwait's portfolio so that is one feedback for you from my side uh, your delhi wahan i think this has the most amount of you know exploration the background story everything is working out nicely here uh, here uh, is this an existing vehicle or is this you have taken inspiration from i have taken inspiration from that i think it's a okay. conceptual vehicle okay okay so agar aisa kuch hota hai na this is for everyone if you are using something which is existing uh, try to mention uh, clearly that this is the inspiration and you can mention which kind of vehicle is this so you know it establishes a fact that okay this is your inspiration and you are just trying to get inspired from it so kya hota hai ki when you are having this big visuals which is equivalent to your final visual of a concept then it becomes very uh, confusing that is it your concept or is it someone else's concept or something like that okay uh, sketching wise i think you should add more sketches because you are in final year of your product design right so yeah. abhi jis tarah se benchmark set hote ja raha hai uh, i think the, the demand and the requirement and the expectation is too high so uh, try to put more efforts in your sketching try to put some shadows lighting uh if you can do digital renderings that is always welcome uh your flow your panels are good as a magazine i think this is a nice magazine which i will buy but as a portfolio it is not conveying the story so that is where i think you'll have to improve right yeah yeah uh, your 3d modeling also seems to be quite good so keep that up uh bas tumhara your sketching and 3d modeling skills they are not matching so 3d modeling skills are good so sketching uh try to you know bring it to the same level somehow then uh, yeah. uh, and sketching is not just about uh, the beautiful looking sketches sketches uh, are more about conveying the idea or your thought process for example what dhiren was showing in his portfolio you know that was quite interesting that he had so many doodles and small small sketches here and there so it was uh, conveying his thought process through those sketches 
so always think of your sketching in that direction that what kind of a story or what kind of a thinking process i am trying to convey through my slides so that will be very effective uh, i also liked one fact that graphically you are trying to use one one colors for each project uh, i think you are a very good graphic designer that you have your graphic sense is quite nice uh, and that's why you are using uh, very conscious graphical things which are making it very attractive uh, just make it uh, more organized and uh, in this kind of a layout uh, this is looking a little disturbing because you were just designing half the page for a magazine right so when i see uh -huh. like just the half of it it looks interesting uh -huh. but when i look both the pages together that in this layout page. then i am very confused where to look and where to focus you know so i think that's where i think you'll have to take major uh, efforts on otherwise i think you are uh, work is good thoda sa uh, i think more slides will be required because you are a final year student more story more yeah. maturity more understanding of design and you know attention to small small details which will give also highlight of what is your thinking process and also why ajwed is different from other students so all those things should come from this portfolio uh, and here i think uh, this picture you can change it to something more informative like you can uh, you can tell a lot about you with just one picture let's say if you like riding or i was telling it before also if you like it like riding or if you enjoy some kind of things or there is particular style to your sketching all that you can show in this picture and then this becomes like a very interesting engaging kind of a page immediately it will make me curious about you as a designer and a person okay right yeah so uh, overall that's it guys uh, i have taken lot of your extra time but uh, i hope i have provided some value to you if you have any kind of questions please tell me please ask me and you all have my number now so you can always communicate like you can ask me things you can share your progress everything any questions yeah, sure i think dhiran wants to ask something so i want to ask like uh... how should we like focus on like if i focus on one thing that that one thing is my prominent thing but other ways like if i am doing 3d also but i am not so prominent in it so what amount of 3d should i show in my folio so it should be like balanced it should it would also tell like it should be like uh, i am focusing more on my prominent part but that that is just an add on like i know but i don't know in so much deeper way okay so your question uh, let me understand properly so you are asking me that uh, how much emphasis on the 3d modeling you should give in a portfolio mm -hmm. if, is that so if my focus is if my, if my focus is not 3d but still but i need to add on like current trend okay sir so okay valid valid question so uh, now the thing what is happening is uh, you are uh, 3d modeling is just a tool okay so it is uh, it is a tool where uh, there can be very less amount of cheating happens right so for example when you are doodling a pencil sketch you can you know cheat so many things cheat on so many things like yeah. the surfacing and things like that when you render also photoshop mein hazaro tweaks ho sakte hai but uh, uh, whereas uh, 3d modeling mein uh, cheating ke liye bahut kam scope hota hai uh, everything can be visualized from every corner and uh, that is the reason why people rely more on the 3d modeling now uh, in industry what is happening now that there is little shift of work culture in industry now now what happens is pehle kya hota tha ki hum log designer sketching karte the marker enters karte the aur fir wo 3d modeler ke paas jata tha abhi kya hota hai na ki to make it more efficient uh, we sketch and we create a rough patch model also by using some kind of tools uh, jaise alias ho gaya uh, ya blender ho gaya ya maya ho gaya whatever works for you they don't care ki aapko kaun sa software aata hai but if you can create a patch model if you can create a rough volume so then uh, that gives an understanding to the cast modeler much better to cast modeler jaise pehle sketch read kar kar ke bahut time spend karta tha waisa nahi hoga wo zyada efficiently ho jayega so you should at least uh, know basics of a 3d modeling yes. software so that your sketch can be replicated there uh mm -hmm. and on top of it if you because you are in a student phase you can you should always show your potential to the max for example mm -hmm. uh sketching to aapne establish kar liya ki aapko sketching aata hai 3d modeling mein what is the extreme you can go jaise ek project not in every project but one project you can 
शो ऑल योर थ्री डी स्किल्स जहाँ पे यू हैव डन इट प्रॉपरली यू हैव शोन एनिमेशन ऑल्सो यू हैव प्लेड विद लाइटिंग सिनारियोज एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट सो वन स्केच यू कैन टेल देम दैट ओके आई एंजॉय स्केचिंग दिस इज माई फोर्ट बट एट द सेम टाइम आई नो थ्री डी ऑल्सो Yes. So in yes. future, if I I will be required to convert my sketch into 3D, I am completely aware. If I am uh, you know in future required to work with a CAD modeler, 3D modeler, mm-hmm. so I am in uh, like I have all the skills to tell him properly and get it done. Mm-hmm. So that balance you can maintain. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, as a as a uh, just one thing I want to tell uh, more than anything, no. Uh, what people usually look for is that you are uh, uh, adaptability to situations to kaisa hota hai ki jab industry mein ya kisi bhi client ke sath aap kaam karoge to you will be uh, required to do uh, sometimes you will be required to do only one thing sometimes you will be required to do almost everything to uh, they want to understand how flexible are you how adaptable are you how uh, you know humble you are as a person uh are you able to you know come to a team which is already sorted which is already established and gel into it because there are so many designers you might have come across right they have excellent yes. skills but then they working with them is almost impossible so industry people mm-hmm. don't want those people also so you have to have that balance that uh, you know these things but at the same time you are eager to learn things and you mm-hmm. are adaptable like whatever the situation is there whatever the things are happening up and down you can uh, deliver consistently so that's what if you can give that uh, you know message to them with lot of conviction i think you will be taken then in that case agar thoda sa skill kam zyada bhi hoga na to bhi wo log bolenge ki theek hai skill this guy will improve but at least he will bring so many new things he will bring so many ideas to our company so that is more valuable uh, anything else guys sir samajh liya uh i had yeah, a question sir sir, sir uh, right now like i'll finish my engineering in about 4 months but uh, i don't have any projects that i can show i mean whatever this go kart and this reef that i've uh, presented right now these are the two projects i've been working for four years so like since my first year mm. i have uh, i mean I, i've learned everything that is to there is to breeding a go kart and actually we won competitions and everything mm. so like what should i do yeah so as i said before so you are an excellent engineer okay you have established yourself as an uh, qualified automobile uh, or let's say a car engineer right now you have to justify the creative side of yours so so tumhara engineering background to kafi strong hai tum abhi bas apna creative background leke aao kisi project se tumhare jo bhi hobbies rahenge ya jo bhi bachpan se tum karte aaye ho unknowingly knowingly sketching karte ho painting karte ho kuch sculpting karte ho jo bhi hai tumhara उसको एक अच्छे से एक लेआउट में डाल के यू कैन जस्ट जस्टिफाई योर क्रिएटिव साइड ऑल्सो क्योंकि वहां पे जाने के बाद उनको ऐसा नहीं लगना चाहिए कि यू आर एन एक्सलेंट मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर बट नॉट श्योर इफ यू विल बी एबल टू सर्वाइव इन दिस क्रिएटिव फील्ड और नॉट फील्ड और नॉट ओके बिकॉज डिजाइन नो बहुत ज्यादा ये सारे डिजाइनर्स ये इनको पूछो कितना पैशन लगता है <laughs> इसमें मतलब फुल घुसना पड़ता है कि यू नो एंड देन Uh, उस हाई स्ट्रेस एनवायरनमेंट में अगर सस्टेन करना है तो यू हैव टू बी रियली पैशनेट अबाउट डिजाइनिंग द क्रिएटिव पार्ट ऑफ इट तो इसलिए वो एक उनको कन्विंस uh, करने के लिए प्रोजेक्ट्स बना कुछ ओके सर आल्सो वन मोर थिंग राइट नाउ आई मीन आई हैव गॉट अ सर्टिफिकेट इन सॉलिड वर्क्स सो बेसिकली सॉलिड वर्क्स टॉप टू बॉटम एवरीथिंग इज डन बट डू आई हैव टू लाइक लर्न अदर सॉफ्टवेयर्स टू सो लाइक आई व्हाटएवर द 3D रेंडर्स दैट यू सॉ इट दे वर डन इन सॉलिड वर्क्स So I mean, I was thinking about getting into Blender and everything over the course yeah. of next few months, mm. but the application dates are like nearby right now. It's okay. So, See, mm-hmm. uh, uh, don't get too much stressed about skills. Ah, uh, because na, this phase me, ah, uh, more than your skills, they will because you are applying for ah, uh, masters of design and you are coming from engineering background, so they won't expect like huge amount of skills related to design. Because they mm-hmm. go skills, hamesha built ho sakti hai. Like you will enter a design college, वहां पे तुम दो हफ्ते बैठोगे दो महीने बैठोगे तुमको ब्लेंडर आ जाएगा वो भी समझते हैं इस बात को बट तुम अगर ये बताओगे ना कि मैंने एक्सप्लोर किया है आई एम क्यूरियस इन टू यू नो डिवेल्व इन टू सो मेनी दीज दीज एरिया तो वो दैट इट सेल्फ इज इनफ फॉर टेलिंग दैट दैट यू आर पैशनेट इनफ तो अगर तुम लेट से अगले चार महीने में ना ब्लेंडर को इंस्टॉल करके कुछ छोटा मोटा भी कर लोगे तो यू कैन जस्ट टेल देम दैट आई 
no solid works which is a engineering 3d modeling software completely and now okay. i have started with blender also and i enjoy this side as well to fir wo unko convince ho jayega uh, there you don't need to show like a complete full fledged uh, 3d model project in blender and all right. that it's okay you can that's what i'm saying you can create a bunch of uh, stuff which you are already doing you can compile it into the same presentation which you showed me uh, which will justify the creative side of yours okay i think you are stuck okay uh i think with this we can conclude today's session we have already exceeded by one hour <laughs> but that, that was uh, i i quite enjoyed it guys and uh, i hope i yes. could provide some value to you i don't know but uh, yes, yes, i tried my best to give you feedbacks it was a generic feedback if you have some specific questions you have uh, my number you can always ping me on instagram Yes, okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All the best, guys. Thank bye you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.